Mauricio, you had the, the pleasure of, of managing Leo Messi at Paris Saint-Germain. I, I mean, I assume that was a pleasure or, or, or maybe it's not as easy as it looks, but his role in this side has changed since Argentina's last World Cup. I think uh, changed the view of the people. I think they um, the people wanted Leo Messi to uh, to have this show, this uh, leadership that uh, all team need uh, to be to be uh, successful. I think um, he can at least on the end he can achieve this. Now everyone recon- recognize him like a leader. Uh, he become very much mature in this area and of course that for me is the best player in the world uh, but now have more influence in the in the teammates now is is his team he feel is his team the player play for him and everyone recognize he is the king like now the media and of course the people on the country that is they build a very good spirit of uh, and translate this energy to the to the to the team. That is uh, is amazing. And then uh, yes, I, I I was so lucky. But that is why I said to you before, I am a lucky guy. But I was uh, uh, during one year with him. Of course, that he wasn't in his best because it was a massive shock to change Barcelona for Paris. Big problem with the COVID. Um, was the the eliminatorias playing for the qualification of uh, the World Cup uh, three games every single month. Uh, every fif- uh, 15 days, uh, uh, going to Argentina, back, uh, uh, with not possible to do a uh, properly training session. It was, was, was really a difficult, difficult year. But now that it's more stable, I uh, was more stable from the beginning, this season, with the possibility to uh, be doing the, 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 the pre-season and training and be stable there in Paris. I start to show again that it's capable of being the best Again, and um, yes, I, I think all the f- football people wish no to to see Messi um, lifting the, the the trophy because I think uh, he deserved no. It's the, the big thing that he deserved no. Um, but um, I really believe that Argentina. I, I agree with James and, and, and Michael um, in, in in both ideas, you know, but. Um, the difference with the another World Cups uh, that now is so clear the idea how they need to play so clear that the leader is is Leo Messi and everyone trusts and our confidence and now it's easy to play for the Argentine players to play with Messi like uh, uh, Michael said it's not easy to play with with Messi but Lautaro built this relationship that can uh, provide because you not know, the, the good things, the successful to, to Argentina. Maybe we, and I am with shame that it's not maybe the death that another World Cup, but sometimes you don't need because only can play 11 players. And maybe you don't need another 11 star player that, that maybe in a very short term uh, you don't need and maybe create a problem and a problem that maybe uh, go again and, uh, and become negative for the performance of the team. Mauricio, obviously you, you coached Neymar as well. Um, this is a huge World Cup for him. Could well decide his legacy as a player. Um, what was your experience of, of, of working with him? What were the, what were the ups and the downs with, uh, with Neymar? For me, Neymar is, um, is really genuine. He uh, is always is going to express what he feels. He's happy. Is going to show that he's happy. He is upset. He's going to show the, the emotions. He never is to. Is not going to hide nothing. Um, after one year and a half working with him, you love him because he is genuine, and he's an amazing talent. Uh, we had many many conversations uh, because he he loves football. He's Brazilian. He loves uh, samba dance. Uh, the happiness he see the life in a different way that maybe the like me like uh, we are Argentino we are different no and I like in the way that they or he is because his inspiration is his happiness he need to be happy to play football and show the quality he need to be in a very good uh, mental level 
he cannot be sad and go to play and give uh, his best. And that is why I think uh, now he's in a very good point, it's in a good moment for him to show the real quality and the leadership because he's a, he's a, he has big, big character and can be a leader that Brazil way uh, expect to be close to win again. I think we are in a moment that is going to be very interesting, the, the, the World Cup, because Messi is in his best moment. Neymar is in his best moment. And there are two kings, you know, and we'll see what happens. I think both are big, big uh, contenders to win the, the World Cup. And it's going to be a massive joy to see them to play in this World Cup. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel.